Why is it that it's impossible, completely impossible, to use super glue without getting it all over your hand? Every time. Oh, it is hot. It is crazy hot here in Queensland at the moment. Or actually, I'm actually technically in New South Wales. The border's like right there. I can see it, like really big dotted line. Um, anyway, um, I thought I'd do a little intro video. Like, who the hell am I, right? <laughs> um, what are your accreditations, dude? Um, my name's Jeremy. Probably know that much already. Um, I'm originally from Melbourne, moved up here about six years ago. Uh, did my mechanic apprenticeship from, I think I started when I was 19, which means I would have, I think I finished just before turning 23, around 22. So I've been out of the trade for nine years. You could say I'm a little rusty. I think I remember most of it. Um, I work here at Explorer Canopies. This is the work you, you've probably seen that already if you've checked out the build series video episode one. Haven't forgotten, we're still doing that. Um, just had a lot going on here. Um, shit, what else do you want to know? I love four wheel driving, camping, adventuring. I'm pretty green to be honest. I'm really new to this thing. I don't really know a whole lot about what I'm doing. Uh, I used to go full driving a little bit with my mates back in Melbourne, um, but I never had one. It was like their cars and I'd just hop in and go for the adventure with them. Uh, I used to love it, but it was always more into like my drifting and um, and like Jap, you know, your ice burners and shit. So uh, I never entered into the scene myself. Um, got into it. Coming up here, how did I get into it? That's a really good question. I kind of slipped into it. Like, I started working here for Carson, and I guess it was just like being around all the all the the forbies. Like, I think I just it was like a natural progression. You know, it was like, hey, this looks cool. This looks fun. Um, I've always loved the outdoors, nature, adventuring, exploring. Actually, that's probably the main reason that this feels so right for me. I love exploring. Um, I love adventuring. I've traveled a, a bit, seen a bit of the world, but haven't seen a whole lot of Australia. So the idea of you know, exploring this beautiful country and seeing what it has to offer really appeals to me. Um, I started watching, you know, your, your Red Dirt Diary, um, Explore Life, uh, TJ and Mac, etc. you name it. Um, and just fell in love with the idea. It just seemed like a great fit for me. Uh, I, I get itchy feet like, like that. My feet are just always itchy. So I started going away last week and I bought myself the old donkey, the courier. Um, which is for sale now that I've got this work car and that thing really introduced me to the world of four-wheel driving um, Actually, I might I'm, I should actually Make an honorable mention of my my ex Jas. She she definitely helped Get me into this world like we used to go camping together and I think I really like sort of fell in love with it a bit with her like she had just your basic 4x4 um, Mitsubishi Outlander. And uh, we did Morton Island from top to bottom in that thing, it was unbelievable. Sometimes I still pinch myself, I'm not quite sure how we managed that, but that thing was unreal. And um, we just had a great time, I really loved it. And that was a big part of the shift into this space for me as well, no doubt. Anyway, uh, I'm waffling, but I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to get this thing built and hit the road. But I think my main message, like if we come back to that, my main message is like, you don't need all the gear. And I, like, I know all the other channels sort of bring this up from time to time as well, but it's so true. You don't need it. Like I just said, did Morton Island top to bottom, bottom in an Outlander. And you know, I, like for example, back when I used to four wheel drive, We'll go for a drive with my mates back in Melbourne. Like I had a I had a Subaru Outback all-wheel drive, and um, 
I took that thing everywhere. Like, you, I was amazed, but that thing was so capable for what it was. Like, you can go so many more places than you think you can, you know? Nowadays, we are completely inundated with all these insane six-figure rigs that people are getting around in. And it's cool, it's mad cool, but it's not necessary. You don't need it. There's a much easier barrier to entry. So take what you've got and just go exploring. Just go looking out. Like you just gotta have some common sense, be careful, you know, drive within your means, go with mates. You know, if you get stuck, pulled out, it's the worst that can happen. Just get out there and have some fun. So anyway, that's the aim with this. That's why I'm still using this and, um, and taking it out now. I'm not waiting for, for all the gear. Uh, it's not about that for me. It's a, it's a beautiful bonus, but it really is just all about getting out there, enjoying it, enjoying this gorgeous country, having fun with your friends or solo. Some of the best trips I've been on have been just me and the truck and nature. You'd be amazed how fulfilling that can, that can really be. So anyway, um, this year's content's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait, heaps of adventures coming. Uh, hopefully a lot more four wheel driving. I know there hasn't been four wheel driving content yet as such, um, mostly because I'm new to it. So I need to find places, I need to find people to go with. Um, yeah, like I'm just, I've just gotta, I've just got to do it, and I will do it. So we will do that. Uh, we will build this. I will make informative videos for you guys with the mechanic background. Uh, I may have left the trade nine years ago, but I have been um, sort of on the tools on and off throughout those years, uh, working on mates' cars, my own cars, whatever. So I've retained a fair bit of it. Um, so we'll be doing this. We'll be hitting the tracks, we'll be hitting the water, we'll be camping in cool places, hiking in cool places, checking out as much as we can, having a bloody hoot on the way, and hopefully taking some cool people with us for some fun trips. So, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying the content so far. I really appreciate you being here, and I will see you on the next adventure. Cheers.